2000 meters world youth champion Richard Kimunyan and 2010 400 meters African Championships bronze medalist Maureen Kiplagat won the first finals in the first day of the Athletics Kenya track and field events Eldoret meeting. Now more finals in the 3000 meters, 1500 meters and 800 meters will be held on Sunday. Steve Keter with the details. Baringo-based Kimunyan produced a spectacular sprint in the last 100 meters to win the 10,000 meters event in 30 minutes 29.3 seconds. Joseph Kipchit Chir and Kennedy Kim Tai of Wasengishu completed the podium places. In the second final of the day, Maureen Jelagat of Prisons clocked one minute and five seconds to win the 400 meter hurdles ahead of Brigitte Jelagat of KDF and Winnie Jelagat in the second and third places respectively. In the final 400 meters, record holder Helen Siombo of police clocked 54.7 seconds to easily win and qualify for the finals of the one lap race. Veronica Mutua and Gladys Musioki, both of police, completed the podium places. I was last year, I was in the injury championship of police, but now I'm healed. I was in the injury championship of police, but now I'm healed. Sunday's 1500 meters final is expected to be a thriller between former 800 meters champion Eunice Sum and African 1500 meters champion Kalain Keprop. Keprop clocked 4 minutes 22.5 seconds to win the first hit, while Eunice won the second hit in 4 minutes 27.7 seconds. Uh, 5,000 men, is, uh, we are now going to run 8 hits. Uh, you've seen uh, 400 meters flat, we've had about 8 hits again. Though a handful of spectators turned out, Many more are expected in the Sunday's final. Reporting for NTV Sport from Eldoret, the City of Champions, I'm Steve Keter. Thanks for that, Keter. And some rugby now where Cabras Sugar maintained their lead at the summit of the Kenya Cup with a 52-6 thrashing of Nondis at the Bull Ring in Kakamega. Second place KCB continued their pursuit of the leaders with a 43-13 beating of visiting Menengai Oilers. Cabras are top of the log on 70 points with KCB second on 69. Meanwhile, Mwamba kept their playoffs alive, with, or rather their playoff hopes alive with a hard-fought 15-11 victory over Impala Saracens. In other results, homeboys crushed Western Bulls 56-6, Kenya Harlequins overcame top Rhino crew 33-12, and Black Blood schooled Kisumu RFC 38-5.